we're looking into a classroom. You know it's a classroom because your eyes tell you. Think for a moment how many things you know just because your eyes tell you. You know what the weather is like when you look outside. You know that Tommy Walker wore his plaid shirt today. You can read your lessons and learn things because you can see. You know your teacher better because you can see her. Watch now, use your eyes, and you'll learn how you can take good care of your eyes and how glasses help some people to see better. For instance, Peter sees quite well with his glasses. He can see his teacher clearly. But when Peter takes off his glasses, well, yes, Peter certainly needs to wear his glasses, doesn't he? Sometimes you see Mary squinting like this, trying to see. Do you think Mary should wear glasses? Alice can see clearly too, but it's often hard work and that makes her frown. Marvin can see pretty well, although he sometimes has some trouble because he has a cross eye. He's a little sensitive about it, but he needn't be. The eye doctor can help Marvin straighten his eyes without too much trouble. And Tommy. Well, Tommy has very good eyes, and he wants to care for his eyes to keep them well. What are eyes anyway? How do we see? Our eyes are little round balls, about one inch in diameter. You can see why we sometimes speak of the eyeball. Most of the eye is protected by a circle of bones, and in front of the eye are the curtains of skin we call eyelids. But if we could take away these coverings, which help protect our eyes, we would see something like this. Attached to the eye, there are tiny muscles which can move and turn the eye to look in different directions. Coming out of the back of the eye is the optic nerve. When you see something, your eye sends a message through the optic nerve to your brain. But to see just how your eyes work, we'll have to look closer. The tough outside covering has a clear part in front called the cornea. The cornea fits over the eye, much like a watch crystal over the face of a watch. Behind the cornea, there is a muscle called the iris. This is the blue or gray or brown colored part of your eye. In the middle of the iris is an opening called the pupil. The iris can make the pupil large to let in extra light at night, or very small to keep some of the light out when it's too bright. Behind the iris and pupil is a very clear lens. Light coming from outside the eye goes through the lens and strikes the inside of the back of the eye. This part of your eye is called the retina. The retina is the part of your eye that sees things. Light is brought into focus on the retina. What does focus mean? When you see something in focus, you see it clearly like this. But you may see it out of focus like this, if your lens is the wrong shape, or your eye does not work right, if your eyeball is too long or too short. When your eye does not focus properly, the rays of light from one spot on the candle do not all come together at one spot on the retina, and you see a blur. Sometimes glasses will correct this and allow you to see things in sharp focus. Now you can see what marvelous things your eyes are, and how important it is to care for them so you can see your best. What does Tommy do to care for his eyes? First, he takes care of his good health. He eats the right kinds of food, fruits and vegetables and milk. He 
he gets plenty of sleep and he keeps himself clean second he follows good safety rules he's careful to keep sharp points away from his face when he has to use sharp objects he uses them carefully and keeps the points covered if he can these are some of the sharp objects that may injure your eyes so it's best not to play with them if you have to use them be sure you know how did you ever have something get in your eye should you rub your eye no that might rub the dirt in deeper Tommy has his mother or someone look at his eye. A grown-up can take things out better and more safely. Tommy follows safety rules to help keep his eyes well. Third, Tommy uses his eyes well. He's careful not to make them work too hard. When Tommy reads, he makes sure to have good light coming over his shoulder. He holds the book about 14 inches away from his face. Do you know how far that is? Think how long a 12 inch rule is. Then hold your book a little farther than that from your eyes. Tommy sits up straight and holds the book up too. And he stops after reading a few minutes to look away and rest his eyes. Try it yourself when you're reading. It feels good. Why, here's Tommy's sister, Barbara. She and mother have been to get Barbara's new glasses. The glasses help her to see things in focus. Tommy wants to try them. But look, Tommy can hardly see when he wears Barbara's glasses. No, these glasses were made especially for Barbara. A few days ago, Barbara and Tommy both went to see Dr. Black. Every year they go for their regular eye exam. After a check to be sure Tommy's eyes were not infected or diseased, Dr. Black looked at Tommy's eyes with some different instruments. You can have your eyes checked this way by an oculist, a doctor of medicine who specializes in diseases of the eye. Or you can see an optometrist, who is not a doctor of medicine, but is specially trained in the care of vision. Well, Tommy's eyes are just fine. Then Dr. Black examined Barbara's eyes and found she would need glasses to help her see better. Looking through a special kind of spectacle, Barbara tried to read from the chart. This helped Dr. Black to measure her eyes and see what kind of glasses she needed. Dr. Black wrote out a prescription for her glasses. Barbara could get her glasses from an optician who specializes in making glasses. At the opticians, Barbara's glasses were ground on these fine machines ground just the way Dr. Black ordered. They were shaped just right for Barbara's eyes. He is the man who knows just how to make glasses and how to fit them so they'll help Barbara see better and be... After she had Dr. Black check her eyes again, she came home to show the glasses to Tommy. She'll take care of her glasses and wear them just as the doctor said she should. Now we know some of the ways Tommy takes care of his eyes, so they will serve him. And we'll all take care of our eyes because they're very precious things. We'll follow good health habits. We'll follow safety rules. And we'll use our eyes well. We'll have our eyes checked every year or so. If we need glasses, we'll wear them and take good care of them. That's the way to take care of our eyes. And we'll do it.
because it's fun to have healthy eyes.